Hello everyone, this video is going to show multi-level subcontracting in Odoo. This is the order we're going to follow. Today we're going to uh, have our order sync. Um, I'm going to manually create one for the demo. Um, that's going to create our demand for the uh, POs from our vendors. And then we're going to go through the process of sending an unfinished casting to the vendor uh, and then receiving the finished casting and then sending out that finished casting with a stone to be set. From there, we're going to receive the ring, the final product, and then we're going to deliver that to the customer. So let's jump in. So I'm going to create our order. These will sync directly from Shopify. I'm going, so now we have our confirmed order. We don't have this in stock. When we go to our, we see it created in a purchase. When we go to our purchase app here, we see we have a PO for our 14 karat finished ring. So from here, I can send the PO. Once we hear back from the vendor um, about quantity, so uh, on a weekly basis, we can uh, schedule this. So then the quantities just fill up here. So uh, maybe today we have five orders uh, from one order and then three from another, and then we just have them accumulating here. And then once we're set, we can confirm the order. And we're ready to uh, cut off that PO. So now it's going to create a receipt for that 14 karat ring. It also generates our next PO for sending the casting out. So this we can also send by email. We can let these accumulate as well. I'm going to send this out to our casting vendor. It's a different vendor than the, the jeweler we're using for the final setting. From here, once we let these uh, pile up and we are scheduled on a weekly basis, basis we can then confirm the order once we uh, had all the quantities added in from our orders that week. So we can confirm the order. It creates another receipt. Now when I go to my inventory, we see we have some delivery orders to process. So we see here uh, for today, So we can filter by date. We can see when they're scheduled. Um, so we're going to go with our one for the casting vendor. And we're going to see that uh, the operations here, we see we have the availability. We can reserve it for this order. And now we can uh, send this out to our vendor as well. If we needed to pick anything from our warehouse, we could use a tablet. and uh, or our phone and go through the warehouse. And with this screen up, um, we can also go through the warehouse with our work order on paper to grab our material and ship them out to our vendor. So once that's ready, we can ship that out. Now we see that it is done. We have two to process and we see one is ready and one isn't. So we have our casting that is ready to be received. We can validate that quantity and receive it back. So now uh, we, the process was we sent our casting to be casted. So we received the finished casting for that. Now we see we only have one to process and now we have one to process for our delivery. So we are going to send our finished casting and our one carat diamond uh, to our jeweler to be set. So we're going to check the availability. We're going to validate that and send it out. So now we have that marked done. On the actual delivery, we can see that it's going from warehouse stock to a subcontractor location. And then we have orders going to our customer location. So now from here, we can go into our receipt and we can receive that final set product. So this is our final product we're receiving. 
So now that we received our final product, we have no more receipts to process. When we go to de delivery, we see we have one delivery left for our customer, Tom Smith. We see the status is ready. The product is now in stock, so it is now reserved. Um, when we reserved that, when we received that product, it reserved it for this order. And now we are ready to validate this and ship out the quantity. Um, we can print the picking slip, the delivery slip as well from here. If we connected to UPS or FedEx, we'd be able to print the labels as well from here. Um, so I'm going to validate this and ship out the final product. Now that we shipped out the final product, we have no more to uh, handle here. We see our POs uh, were marked received. They are now they are now uh, considered received. We see that the quantity was updated on the PO. So now we can create a, a bill in our system to pay for those to pay those vendors. So we see they're received. If anyone has any questions, please contact CKA at odoo.com.